For a seam tape joint, you need to ensure that you have a minimum 100mm overlap in the rubber. Then measure 10mm beyond the upper rubber and mark so you know where to prime. The primer will be applied to the lower and upper side of the rubber, but on the underside of the upper piece of rubber. Use offcuts of seam tape to bond back the upper rubber. Mix and pour the primer. Then apply using the scrub pad, pad which keys into the surface of the membrane. Apply the primer up to the marked line on the lower rubber. Then apply the primer to the underside of the upper rubber. Make sure the primer is not wet or stringy to the touch. Then apply seam tape to the lower rubber, lining up the edge of the seam tape plastic to the primed line on the rubber. Use the seam tape roller to make sure the seam tape is bonded to the primer, rolling along the length and also side to side so that the edges are bonded down very well. Release the upper lap of rubber and remove the seam tape tacks. Once in place, ensure that the seam tape is showing from under the rubber lap. Pull back the lap and release the plastic from the seam tape. Pull away the plastic covering at 45 degrees using your hand to push the lap into place. Make sure you do not trap the plastic under the rubber by getting too close. Then again, use the seam roller to roll down the primed lap into the seam tape. You may wish to use membrane cleaner to remove any marks from the rubber. And this, this is completed seam tape installation.